What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here and moving on to some more limits to solve. So notice that these limits, they're in similar formats and we're gonna solve both of them using the method of rationalization. So the first one, I've got the limit as x approaches five of five minus the square root of 20 plus x and that's all over x minus five. So notice we can't make a direct substitution because if we do, then that denominator is going to be zero. And also the numerator is gonna be zero because we'll have 25 here, square root of 25 is five, five minus five is zero. So we gotta rationalize this. So the way we do that, let me just write out this part. We have to get rid of this square root somehow. And the way we do that is we multiply the numerator by its conjugate, which would be, let me make a bigger bracket here, five plus root 20 plus x. Right, so we keep the ends the same, we just change the middle term. And since we multiply the numerator by that, we gotta multiply the denominator by that as well. So it's like we're taking the entire expression this and multiplying it by one. So the expression is pretty much staying the same. We're just kind of adding more to it. So when we do that, what's gonna happen is this is like a minus b in brackets times a plus b, right? a minus b, a plus b, and we know a minus b times a plus b, that's a difference of squares. That's gonna give us a squared minus b squared. So applying that, five times five, that gives us 25. Negative times positive, that gives us negative. And then root 20 plus x times root 20 plus x, that's just gonna give us 20 plus x. The square root is gonna go away, right? So we square the left side, we square the right side, the a and the b. And then down here, notice that this isn't a difference of squares, so we have to keep those two terms separate. So I'm gonna write the x minus five in brackets and then I'm gonna write the five plus root 20 plus x in brackets as well. And so now what we can do is we can simplify the numerator. So if we distribute the negative inside the bracket, we'll have minus 20 and then minus x. So notice that we'll end up having uh, 20 mi uh, 25 minus 20 is five, and then we'll have minus x. That's what we'll end up with in the numerator. And then we'll have x minus five over here, five plus root 20 plus x. Now we're trying to get rid of this x minus five so we could plug in that x value five. Notice we can't do that yet because five minus x and x minus five are not the same. But we can make them the same by taking out a negative in the numerator. So basically five minus x, if we factor out a negative, what we'll end up with is negative five plus x. All the signs will change. Negative five plus x, that's the same as x minus five. And we have the negative outside. So this and this are the exact same thing. So instead of writing five minus x, I'm gonna factor out that negative and make it x minus five. And now notice, those cancel out. So we're just left with a negative one at the top. And now we could sub in that x value of five. So we'll have 20 plus five, which is 25. The square root of 25 is five. And then that five plus that five gives us 10. And so our final answer is negative one over 10. Right, so that's the limit to number one. That's the answer. Now, Moving on to number two, same method, rationalization. And we gotta rationalize this uh, numerator, again, because that's where the square roots are. Usually where the square roots are, that's what you're gonna rationalize. So we gotta multiply this by the conjugate of the numerator. Now, we can't directly sub in an x value one because we'll get a zero in the denominator and the, uh, and the numerator we'll end up with root two minus root two, which would give us zero. So let's uh, rewrite this again, one plus x minus root one plus x squared all over x minus one. And we're gonna multiply this by the conjugate of the numerator. So one plus x, that stays the same. Then we'll have a plus here, change the middle sign. 
and then the other end stays the same as well. All over the same thing. So we're taking this expression, multiplying it by one, so we're keeping the expression the same. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is we're just gonna multiply these ends together because those middle terms are gonna cancel out because this is a difference of square. So we just have to multiply this by that, which would give us one plus x. Negative times positive gives us negative, and then root one plus x squared times root one plus x squared would just give us one plus x squared like that. And this is going to be all over x minus 1. Let's keep these two expressions separate. So we'll have root 1 plus x plus root 1 plus x squared. And now what we can do is we can simplify the, um, the numerator. So notice, let's distribute this negative inside the bracket. So notice this positive one and then this negative one, those will just cancel out. And so what we'll end up with is x minus x squared, okay? Or you could rewrite this. Let's rewrite it as negative x squared plus x. Same thing. This is all over x minus 1. And then this expression is going to stay the same. 1 plus x plus root 1 plus x plus root 1 plus x squared. Um, and then what we can do is we could take out a negative x from here. So we'll have the limit as x approaches 1. Let's factor the numerator, take out a negative x. So we'll have x minus 1 all over x minus 1, root 1 plus x plus root 1 plus x squared. Notice these cancel out. So we got rid of that x minus 1 in the denominator, and now we could sub in that 1. So if we sub in 1 up top, there's a negative x left, so we'll have negative 1. And then if we plug in 1 here for both of these x's, we'll have root 2 plus root 2. Those are like terms, so we could add the coefficients in front, which are the 1's, so we'd end up with negative 1. Uh, 2 root 2, like that. And if you don't want to leave a square root in the denominator, you can rationalize this as well. So you can multiply by root 2 over root 2, and you'd end up with negative root 2 over root 2 times root 2 is 2 times 2 is 4. So you'd end up with that, negative root 2 over 4. So this or this are the same thing. Both of those answers work, but if your teacher doesn't allow a square root in the denominator, you could rationalize it, you'd end up with that. So that's the answer to number two.